Tech. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am doing a get ready with me, chit chat get ready with me, showing you guys how to get this super easy wearable springtime look. I'm not even kidding when I'm telling you it's so, so easy. Today's video is actually in collaboration with Deck of Scarlet. They just launched their newest palette, their March-April palette, in collaboration with Roxette. And I am so excited to share this with you guys because I think it's just such an easy and awesome palette to use and it's so adorable. I mean, how cute is this packaging? Deck of Scarlet is a subscription service that comes out with new palettes every two months. And it's not just an eyeshadow palette, it's a full face palette. So you have eyeshadows, face products, lip products in here. You've got everything. So for only $29.95, I think it is, you get a full face palette every two months and you can skip at any time. So it's super easy to use and they're just so adorable. You're gonna wanna collect them all. And I love how with each palette, they collaborate with a different influencer. So the influencer for this one is Roxette and I love her videos and her personality. She's just gorgeous. So I was so excited to see her collaborate with Deck of Scarlet. So for this palette, obviously we're getting ready for spring. So we we have like really pretty pops of color in here that are just super easy and wearable and um, it's just so fun. Oh my gosh, and I almost forgot to say they are cruelty free. You guys know that I am all about sharing cruelty free products with you guys, meaning they do not test on animals, no animal testing, nothing like that. I'm always trying to promote products that are cruelty free, so I'm excited to tell you that Deck of Scarlet is definitely cruelty free. And I can't wait to share with you guys how I got this look featuring this palette, so if you are interested in seeing how I got this look or you just want to get ready with me chit chat with me and hang out then just keep on watching and of course if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do because it'll make me happy and maybe if YouTube is cooperating you'll get notified of future videos <laughs> if not make sure you're following me on all my other social media platforms I'm at Jack Jack on everything okie dokie now let's get started so I have my deck of Scarlet box right here Ta-da! There comes with like a little foam here on top with some paper, but I just took that off. But here is what you get inside of the box. You get the palette here, which looks so cute, and you get an eyeliner and lip liner. So literally a full face of goodies right here. So let's go through the palette first, and I'll share with you guys swatches and things like that so you can see. So this is what the palette looks like. Has this little like, I don't know, like doll person here. Really pretty. And then if you turn it sideways, one flap like opens up the lip colors and then the other one opens up the eyeshadows and the blush and bronzer or highlight. I'm not quite sure. I feel like this would be more of a highlight. So yeah, why did I think bronzer just now? <laughs> and then you get a little mirror here, which I really like. So how pretty is this? These two colors are just like my eyes are just drawn to. I know this is a blush, but we might have to play around and use that in the crease. Who knows? So before I actually get started with my makeup, let's do swatches and see all of these in action. So this shade right here is Starry Eyed. That's a good matte like transition shade. We have Bora Bora here. Ooh, hoo, hoo. it's like so buttery. This is like a satin shimmery shade. It's not like glitter shimmery, but there's like little shimmers in there. That's really pretty. We have bronzed over here. Oh my gosh, it feels so buttery. This one is another kind of like satin shimmer, I believe. Yeah, there you go. We have Rockstar right here. Ooh, that feels so nice. Here's the swatch. That's pretty. Can you guys see that? I, I can't tell if it's picking up on camera or not. And then we have the blush called Love Sick. I really like this color. It's so perfect for spring. Woo! Now let's swatch these two lip shades here. I feel like they're so nice, like they're nude brown shades that you can do kind of like an ombre lip with. I think that's gonna be really pretty. So, whoa, that's so creamy. I wasn't like, I didn't know what to expect, honestly. So there's that shade. It feels like hot fudge chocolate, like, it's just so soft and creamy. And there's that shade, super crazy pigmented. And then we also have the eyeliner and lip liner that I wanna swatch for you guys before we get started too. So 
The long lasting eyeliner is in Goddess. And this is not like your typical eyeliner. This is more of like a gold one. So it'd be really pretty on the waterline or inner corner. So let's swatch it over here. That's really, really pretty. I feel like I'd want to use that on the inner corner. I like that. And then we have the lip liner. This is the long lasting lip liner in Foxy. I love this. That's like such a pretty nude. Definitely my cup of tea. So ah, I'm excited to get started. Okay, I'm just gonna tuck my hair behind my ears. I should probably have you guys zoomed in for this, huh? Okay, let's zoom you in. Did you guys know, fun fact, I still have not gotten new contacts. I'm still on my glasses, so when I'm filming these videos for you guys, I actually can't see. Like, I can't see the viewfinder because I'm so, so blind. But anywho, let's get started. I like to start with the eyes first. That's just, I did my eyebrows off camera already, but I like to start with the eyes first in case there's any like fallout or I wanna clean up the edges. I don't have to worry about ruining face makeup. So I'm gonna actually use the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer in Light Neutral. This can be a little bit of a drying concealer, so I'm going to work pretty quickly. I have a tiny little beauty blender here. I'm gonna spray it with some Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Okay, got him. Let's go ahead and apply this onto the eyelids to cover up like the discoloration, that whole thing. One eye down, one more to go. And of course, we're gonna wanna set that with some powder, so I'm gonna take my Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. Put some powder in there. Okay, that should be enough. So I got the powder, my little sponge, I'm gonna pick that up and just press this onto the eyelids to set the concealer. This powder tastes so good. Perfecto, so our eyes are primed. Got my eyeshadow brushes here. If you want me to list below um, what eyeshadow brushes I'm using like for each color, I will put that in the description box for you guys. So um, yeah, these are the brushes I'm gonna be using. So I'll just like, in order, I'll list them below for you guys. So I want to start off with a super fluffy brush. I'm going to take the shade, um, you know what, I haven't even thought about what kind of eyeshadow look I want to do yet. Let me look at these colors, let me envision something real quick. I feel like the Bora Bora shade right here, this blue color, I love by the way, um, that would be super easy to wear on the lower lash line, but I almost want to put it on my entire lid. Is that too much? That might be a little too much. Let me think. What do I want to do? Should I keep this part neutral and color down here? Yeah, let's do that. I feel like those of you actually watching and like maybe recreating this look, I feel like that would probably be the easiest and most wearable way to, you know, create a springtime look. So that's what I'm gonna do for you guys. I'm gonna show you a super easy, wearable, springtime makeup look with a little pop of color. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy because just in case you guys don't wanna do anything crazy. But if you'd like to see like a more crazier spring look, let me know, I'll do another video. So I'm gonna start with Starry Eyed, which is the matte transition shade. And I'm gonna use that for the transition shade. So I'm just gonna blend this into the crease. This color, I feel like is pretty similar to my skin tone. But we're gonna just put it in the crease anyways. Yeah, you can't really see it all too much on my skin tone. I feel like if you're more on the fair side, I feel like this would be a nice crease color. With the Morphe M433 brush, I'm gonna take bronzed. And this is just like your regular size blending brush for the crease. I'm gonna pick up that shade, tap off the excess, Blend this on the outer corner and outer crease with just like little circular motions. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so hot right now. I'm like sweating, but I don't wanna turn the fan on because it's just gonna be too loud and distracting while filming. But I'm so hot. Why is it so hot? It's actually a cold, rainy day. It's just I have 10 million lights all around me, so I'm like sweating. 
Ooh, I like this. I like this color. And it's one of those shades that you can keep adding to keep like building up that color. It's not too much, just perfect. But again, like I said, this is definitely a shade you can build. So I'm just starting in the outer corner and like doing little circular motions with my brush and then I'm dragging it into the crease. But keeping the color just here on this outer part. Am I about to sneeze right now? Yep. <laughs> Ew. Ugh. Now I'm going to take a, a flat shader brush and I'm actually going to take the highlight rock star. I want to put this on my lid. That's so pretty just by itself like that. Super pretty, super easy and wearable, but let's see if we can intensify it with a little bit of Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. So I'm just going to spray my brush a little bit and then with my damp brush, pick up some more of this and paint this on my eyelid. That's really, really pretty. I like that. I'm going to spray the brush some more to intensify it. So I'm starting right here in the inner corner and then kind of bring it it bringing it into the inner crease like the inner half of my crease and then blending it onto the lid. I feel like there's so many different eyeshadow palettes on the market. We all know that, but I feel like I really like Deck of Scarlet because it's not too overwhelming of a palette. Like you don't have 10 million shades to choose from and then when you're getting ready in the morning it's like overwhelming. I feel like this is like super easy. It's like, okay, let's quickly do this. And you can create like a super easy wearable everyday kind of look. And because this is like the springtime one, it has like those little pops of color that are gonna make your makeup look, your everyday makeup look, just transformed into a spring appropriate, trendy, but not too much makeup look. You know what I'm saying? I like this. This is like a perfect everyday eyeshadow look for me. Now with a pencil brush, I'm going to take Bora Bora. I'm so excited to be using this shade. I for sure want to use it wet though, because I want this lower lash line color to be intense, but not like not too intense, but like, you know what I mean? Actually, I don't know if you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay. And I'm just going to drag this. Oh my gosh. Yay. Yay. I love this. I'm going to drag this onto the lower lash line. If you've been watching my channel long enough, you already know that when it's like spring or summertime, this is like my go-to kind of springtime makeup look. I love keeping the eyes pretty neutral, but then adding that pop of blue on the lower lash line. It's my favorite thing to do, and it's so easy. It's kind of like a foolproof way to add color into your makeup look without like looking like a clown or looking like overdone, you know what I mean? Sometimes I'll switch it up with the different colors under here. I'll try like a green or a purple, but blue is always my favorite. I feel like it just looks really pretty. Um, it looks pretty with brown eyes. I feel like it's pretty with, I don't know, I feel like it'd be pretty with all eye colors, to be honest. With the eyeliner in Goddess, I'm going to take this and apply this onto my inner corner for a nice little highlight. Oh wow, I like that. I really like that we have two different tones here. Like the lid is more golden and then this inner corner, this eyeliner, is more like pinky rose gold. And I don't know about you guys, I know some people may disagree, but I love mixing metals. So like gold and silvers, rose gold and gold, I love mixing them. So this, that's what this is like reminding me of. I'm going to quickly pop on some eyeliner, mascara, and false lashes and I will be right back. I'm back. I got my mascara and lashes on, but before I move on to the face, I wanted to share this. I'm going to take the NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a Turn On Extremely Shine Eyeliner. Is that really the name? Turn On Waterproof Extreme Shine. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to take the NYX Eyeliner with a really, really long name in the shade Sunrise Blue, and I'm going to pop this on my waterline just to add more blue under here. I really need the mirror to be closed because I can't see. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. It's so pretty. Like the different shades of blue, it reminds me of the ocean. I love it. So I'm going to finish off my lower lashes with a little bit of mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. 
Done. Now we can start with the face. I'm going to prime my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. My skin is just so dry and I just need the oil. So I'm going to add a few drops of this onto my face. Okay. Oh, ah, ah, dripping. And I'm just going to blend this into my skin. If you are using like an oil to prime your face, I would give it a few minutes to actually soak into the skin before you move on to your next step, like your foundation. The foundation I'm gonna use today is from Stila. This is the Stay All Day Cover Hue 5 Foundation. So it comes like this, it's a stick foundation, but then the cap has concealer here at the top. I've used the concealer a few times, I'm not like super impressed with it, but I do like the stick foundation. And to blend that out, I'm gonna use my favorite. This is the e.l.f. Glitter Silicone Blender. So I'll leave it linked below. This is super awesome though. I'm gonna use this to blend out the foundation and yeah. So I'm gonna take the stick foundation and just drag it across my skin to apply the product and then take the e.l.f. Glitter Sponge um, and then go ahead and press that and blend that into the skin until everything is nice and blended and we've got some nice full coverage on the face. And I'm gonna take the same concealer that I used to prime my eyes, the Urban Decay All Nighter, and I'm gonna use that for under my eyes. And I'm gonna use the same silicone sponge to blend it all out. I feel like the foundation gave such great, like, full coverage to my face that I'm not gonna add concealer anywhere else. I'm just using it on the under eyes to brighten up my complexion. So now that we have all of this liquid cream product on our face, we wanna set it before it starts like creasing and all that stuff, especially because we use the face oil. So our skin is a little more wet than usual. So gotta set it with some powder. I'm actually going to bake with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. I don't bake all the time, but I wanted to um, show you guys how I do that with this powder. It's my favorite. So far, this is the only powder I've ever used that I'm able to actually bake my makeup. I've never been able to do that before. I just had like really bad luck with other powders. So I'm gonna pick it up on a little beauty blender sponge and just lay some powder under my eyes because that's like the first area that wants to crease up. And I'm just like coating it with a nice like thick layer under here. Maybe get the sides of my nose too. Definitely the forehead. Shoot, we're gonna just pretty much bake the entire face. But the under the eyes is like the most important for me. That looks about right. So I know a lot of people like to bake and then finish up like the rest of their face, but I don't let this powder sit that long. I just, I feel like it's not really necessary. Like it works just if I let it sit for a couple seconds. So all I'm gonna do to wipe it away, I'm gonna take some of the powder again and a big fluffy brush. I'm just gonna take the powder like this, just so that there's a little on the brush. I don't know why I just always do that. And then I will just sweep away the powder and it doesn't leave like a white cast or anything like that. This is the only powder I've ever been able to bake with and it works. And it leaves the skin just looking so flawless. And typically people who have drier skin, which me right here, don't normally bake because it's too drying. So I really only bake like this when I put a lot of heavy moisturizing products on my face like the oil, the cream foundation, that sort of thing. Like those are very like hydrating, wet products. That's when I'm able to bake like this. And now you're gonna have a big old mess on your vanity. Okay, weird little tip. I always get powder in my nose. So I'm just taking the end of my brush, a makeup wipe, and just quickly going in my nose to wipe away the powder on my nose. There we go. Because my nose hairs always turn white after, after I set my face. I need a bronzer. Un momento. So call me crazy, but I actually love a good shimmery bronzer. This is from Note Cosmetics. This is the Terracotta Powder 04 Mocha Taste. And as you can see, there's a lot of shimmer and sheen to this bronzer. And usually people like to stick with matte bronzers. And 
I agree if you're like sculpting out your face use a matte bronzer but I never do anything too harsh with my bronzer and contour I keep it very like natural so if you're like me and you keep it pretty natural you can totally get away with using a shimmery satin type of bronzer it's gonna look really natural really pretty on the skin and give you a sun-kissed glow so that's why I love using these so I'm just gonna take this on a little like I don't know blush brush or whatever gonna pick up some of the product tap it off because it is super pigmented just gently add this to my cheekbones like this and then bring it up to the temple and of course just want to like round out everything so I'm going on to my jawline and neck as well okay and now I'm also going to just add a touch of this down the sides of my nose And then kind of like round out my nose. So I'm like kind of contouring my nose. But like again it's like not too harsh. Because we want to keep this like pretty natural. There we go. I am actually so stoked to try the blush in here. It's so pretty. And I feel like it's just going to brighten up the face. Give you that perfect springtime glow. I'm so excited. So this is Love Sick. I'm going to take this on. Oh my gosh it's so pigmented. <laughs> So I'm going to take this on a little blush brush, smile, do my little weird half smile like this, tap the apples of my cheek, and then blend it back. I don't know if you guys know this, but the brighter your blush, the younger you're going to look. So if you're wearing like a deep tone blush, it's going to make you look older. But if you wear like these lighter, bright kind of colors, it's going to give you that youthful look to your makeup. Obsessed. I'm obsessed with this blush color. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna take just a tiny tiny bit and just pop that onto my nose. Oh, that's so cute! Forehead, chin, just to kind of round everything out. Oh, that's so pretty. Now for a highlight, I'm gonna use the same color I used on my lid, which is Rockstar. This is the highlight shade. I'm gonna take this on a little highlight brush. This is the Morphe M501. Pop that on the cheekbones. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And then I'm going to take some, put it on the tip of my nose. And I go on like the bridge of my nose too. Just a little bit. And then hit that Cupid's bow too. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, let me grab that lip liner from Deck of Scarlet. This is the long lasting lip liner in Foxy. Super creamy pigmented lip liner. I really like the color. It's like that perfect like Kind of deeper nude and now for the lips. I need a lip brush Let's do this lighter color. I'm gonna pick this up on my brush. So creamy and delicious Ooh, I like that let me add a little bit more I love this color that was the shade smooch and i love it all right you guys this is the completed makeup look and i am obsessed with it so that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and if you recreate this look make sure you tag me in your photos so i can see it girl and make sure you check out the description box below for links to all the products that i mentioned in today's video as well as a link to check out Deck of Scarlet. I think it's such a fun subscription service, so if you haven't tried it yet, make sure you do, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!